you. So you already see it on my screen, fam. You see what we're doing today. We are going to design this 3D sublimation all over Los Angeles Lakers shirt. So with that being said, if you are a return subscriber, you already know what to do. But if you are new, I pray that you'll stick around and join me. Kick off your shoes, relax your feet, get comfortable. Look around at the content that I create. And if you should find that you like it and you want more, please like and subscribe. Because you all already know that you all are always welcome over here in this house. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, fam, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to my website, that3discreations.com. You're, and this is how you spell it right here, that, the number two, discreations.com. And you are going to go down, scroll on down to this free all over 3D sublimation templates. You're going to click on that. And I have different sizes of templates in here. And these are free templates because I got these from innatelab.com and they are free blank templates for your use to create your own design. So I'm not selling them. They are free of charge because they're not originally my templates. So I cannot sell them and I will not sell them. So um, for today's video, I'm going to click on this one, the 44 by 36, which is the small to 3X, all over 3D shirt. Click on that and you're going to add it to your cart. And once you add it to your cart, it's going to send you a, um, a free download to your email. And it will also let you um, download it on this actual website, from the actual website. I am not going to click on it because I have already downloaded it. Um, and I don't want my address and stuff to show to everybody in YouTube world. So, therefore, I'm not going to click on it. But once you um, download it. And I'll just put it in a folder and save it for the future, um, for your future use. And it'll be there forever for you. But I am not going to download it. I'm just showing you where you can download it from. And so once you download it, it should look like this in Photoshop. This is how it should come in. And so once you have bought your um, shirt template in, and then you need to um, go to Creative Fabrica dot com to download the background and and then you need to pick some pictures and then you need to put the words on here whatever you want to use in designing your shirt that's what you're going to go find so now that we brought the shirt in let's go and pick a background and all the things okay okay so y'all now we're going to go on over to creativefabrica.com that's creativefabrica.com and this is where I got my backgrounds from. It's really simple. Um, I pay $47 a month um, for 12 months for a whole year. And sometimes they offer specials where you can get an additional month for like half this price. Not an additional month, but an additional year. So I think I'm up to like two years right now. Um, they offer specials all the time. Or um, like right here, it said add an extra year to my subscription for just three ninety nine dollars a month. And so they offer um, deals like that. And so what I did was I came over here and I just typed in digital paper. Okay. Type in digital paper. Um, you can hit enter or you can hit this search bar right here. Either one. It does not matter. And as you can see, you're going to get all different kinds of paper that you can download, um, like here's the glitter, um, here's leopard, here's silver, here's like um, Lego patterns right here, um, all the things over here. And so, 
like I said, you can get any kind of paper you want. Um, if you type in yellow digital paper, hit enter, and you can get all kinds of choices, all kinds of ideas, whatever project you're trying to make. Um, you can just choose a background from here and you will be good to go. Um, you can go... <laughs> Look, scrolling down, scrolling down. It's going to keep going, keep going and going and going. So I assure you that you're going to find something that you like, okay? And so um, if I type in purple, digital paper, search or enter, it doesn't matter, okay? And look at all this. Look at that. That's so pretty. The purple, um, they got all kind of choices of purple, okay? And, yeah, so, um, to save time, I'm just going to show you what I did download. So, if I go to my profile right here, and I click on my downloads, I downloaded this one right here. This is what I used in my design, the Mardi Gras um, for gl glitter digital paper, and I used the purple and the yellow out of this pack but once you download it it's going to download all of these colors for you okay and once i did that and i am going to link creative fabrica in the description below for you and i do have an affiliate link that um i'll get a little bit of commission off of it not a lot but um and i would appreciate if you use my link if you don't already have uh creative fabrica i would appreciate it and so, once I was done here, I put all my downloads, I save it to, I have a Lakers folder right here, as you can see, my mouse, I have a Lakers, I named it Lakers, and to create a folder on your desktop, if you don't know how, you're just going to right click, hit new, folder, and you just name the folder whatever you want, want to name it, so... I'm just going to put grad for now because that's the next design I'm going to make, okay? And once I do make the grad graduation design, I'm going to put everything that pertains to that person's graduation in this folder right here. That way, I don't have to look all over my desktop to find it or all over my computer to find out, hey, where that went? Where is that file? And you put it in all one, all one location. You don't have to worry about that, okay? And so... I put mine right here in the Lakers folder. And as you can see, I got um, pictures of the Anthony Davis. Um, Y'all, I forgot his name. <laughs> I should have put a name right there. I forgot his name. But number 28 of the Lakers, okay? Um, Of course, LeBron. And I got Kobe. I didn't use Kobe in the design, but I do have Kobe. I think I'm going to put Kobe on a shirt all by himself, okay? Um, the Lakers logo and these two colors I chose from Creative Fabrica. And it reads right here. And I'm also going to use the stadium floor and the stadium, the outside of the stadium. And so these are all the things I'm going to use right here. And um, the pictures I got off of Google. So if I minimize this screen, let's say I want to go to... Uh, let's say I want a picture of LeBron. So I'm just going to type LeBron James in the search bar. Hit enter. I'm going to go to images. Right here, images right here, as you can see. And then I want big pictures. So I'm going to hit tools. Um, when I say big pictures, I mean large pictures give you more pixels, if that's the word I'm looking for and a better, a better quality picture. So you go to tools, again, you hit large, and it should give you more um, pixels in your um, images. It should only pick like the best images for you to use. And that's why I click tools and then I go to large so I can get a better quality image, okay? And let's say, um, let's say I wanna use this picture right here of LeBron. Okay, 
Um, this is not the picture I used, but let's say I want to use that. If I right click and I hit copy, or you can save image, but I hit copy, copy image. And you see how big this image is? 1278 by 1278, which is a good quality image for Photoshop, okay? And so, I'm going to go to removebg.com. Removebg.com. Oh, I can't spell. All right, and so that same image I just copied, I'm gonna match Control V, and it should go right here. Control V, as in Victor. And it just took that background away from me, for me, okay? So if I hit download, and you can pay for this too, but I don't pay for it. Um, so if you wanna download in HD, it's going to make you log in and all of that. And you have to pay. I forgot. I think it's like $9.99 a month, I want to say. But I'm not sure. But I don't pay for it. And it kind of decreases your pixels. Um, if you want it to stay at this 1278 by 1278, you have to pay for it. So if you can see right here, it decreases my pixels. Um, and it make it a less better quality. But it's still going to show up good in Photoshop. So I go download, okay? It's downloading right there for me. And then I'm going to open my folder up down here, okay? Then I'm going to click on downloads. And that's my picture right there. And so I need to, um, where's my other folder? I want to move it to my Lakers folder. So I'm going to open up both of them. And so I want to move LeBron. So first I got to name him another name because it's already an image over here with the same name. Image removed 24. I need to name them all. I didn't name them all. So that's why I'm getting there. Both of them cannot be the same name or it won't move it over there and why I keep moving anyway. So I'm going to have to click right here and name it LeBron 2, I guess. And enter, and now I can just drag and drop them over there. So now he's in my folder on my desktop. So all my Lakers items that I'm going to use are over here, okay? So now we are ready to design. So I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to close all of these extra windows. Okay, y'all, so here we are over here in Photoshop. And as you can see, the template is here once more. Um, and let me start off by explaining what we're about to do. Okay, so when I bring my background in, I'm going to bring the purple in first, I believe, and then the yellow. That's going to be the background. Um, so what we don't want to do on this template, as you can see right here, we have right here a small, um, medium shirt edge right here. And then we go to large, extra large shirt edge right here. And then we go to the uh, 2X to 3X shirt edge right here. So depending on what size shirt you need to make, um, you don't want to pass the edge of that shirt size. So... I want to make the large to extra large. So when I make my design, I'm going to cover the whole shirt. Mind you, I'm going to cover the whole shirt with the design. But when I go to print it, I don't want anything outside of this large to extra large shirt edge, okay? Anything that I, I don't want to get cut off, that is. No pictures, no, no part of the design that I want to keep. When I print out my design and cut it out, should pass this large to extra large shirt edge. No part of the design that I want to see on my shirt should not pass this edge. But we're going to cover the whole shirt 
I reiterate, we're going to cover the whole shirt with the design. But we're going to make sure that we keep everything inside of the size shirt that you want. And this right here, this dotted um, perforated line, it's called the text and photo safe area. So anything that you want on your shirt to be sure that it doesn't get cut off, you want to make sure that you put it, keep it inside of this dotted line. No matter what shirt size you make, make sure you keep it just to be safe. Keep it inside this line, okay? You can go outside of it, but it's a chance that it may get cut off, okay? So, let's get to designing, okay? So, first things first. I'm going to bring in the color that I want at the top. And I want this purple at the top, okay? So, all I did, let me bring this over, is took it and dragged it on over here. Well, first I got to hit the check mark to make that stay in place, okay? So let me delete that again so I can show you what I did. So all I did was open up my folder that I had my design in, and I dragged this over here. And I'm going to hit Enter, or you can hit the little check mark at the top to make it stay, okay? And so now... I'm just going to hit control T on my keyboard. Control T as in tone. And I'm just going to drag that out like so, like that. And so I want to make the, it go all the way to the edge. I'm going to hold control, I'm sorry, shift. And I'm going to left click this side, shift and left click the mouse. Same for the right side. I'm going to shift, hold down shift, and drag this little corner all the way to the right, holding down my left mouse key. All right. And now I want to bring in the yellow. But I want my yellow to come in under the purple. Okay? So, I'm going to click right here on this little pink layer. That's going to be on all the files that you download, I believe. But just click on it. I didn't make the template. I'm just showing you how to use it. Okay? So, I'm going to click right here because I want the yellow layer to go on top of this pink. And I believe it's, if I click on this eyeball right here, it's going to take that black away. Okay? So, I want, I think it's just a color overlay on top of it. Yeah, it's a black color overlay on top of it. So, that's why it's pink. So, if I turn the eyeball back on, it's going to come back up black. Alright? So, again, I want to bring my layer in on top of this. So I'm going to open up my file folder again at the bottom. And since I'm already clicked on this layer right here, it should open up up under this, this purple layer. So I'm going to bring this purple layer in. I'm sorry, the yellow layer. Did I say purple? And I'm just going to drag it as big as the shirt template. Now, this is what our background is composed of. So now, I do not like hard lines, okay? All right? I do not like hard lines. So what I'm going to do is to get rid of this little straight edge line is I am going to go over here to the purple layer. I am going to click on the layer. Actually, I'm not going to click. Uh, well, you can see it highlighted right here. And I turned the color um, cursor on on the software. I'm using one to share. And I thought I, I got to figure out how to turn the, the cursor on so y'all can really see what I'm doing. Um, 
but I'm swerving around it so you can kind of see it. But I wanted to highlight yellow on my video so you can really see where I'm at with the mouse. But in the meantime, here we go. So I'm, I've clicked on this layer. And I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom. All the way down to the bottom with my mouse. All the way down to the bottom. And this second one right here is the layer mask. I'm going to click on layer mask. Now you can see that it made an extra little box right here. And so now I'm going to come over here to the left side, follow my mouse all the way over here to the left side of your screen. And I'm going to find the brush. That's the brush tool right there. I'm going to right click on it, pick up my brush tool. And I do not want it to look like this. So what I'm going to do is go to the top of my screen, where the brush is, the paintbrush is right here at the top of my screen, and I want to change that. I'm sorry, I need to go right here where it says 2500. Click that down arrow right next to the brush. And I'm going to select this soft round brush right here. Soft round, you just need a soft round brush. And you can change the size of it because I don't, well, I'm going to leave it at 2500 for right now. I'm going to leave it at 2500 And what I want to do is I want to just go across the bottom of this. Okay, see, it's not erasing because I need to go right here to the left corner again, right here. And I need to make, click this arrow so the black will come to the top. Black will erase, black hides, okay? So what I need to do is click this arrow where the black goes to the top. And now it should erase. I think the saying goes black hides and white reveals. Black hides and white reveals. Something like that. I forgot how it actually goes. So you know you put on like a white skirt and it reveals everything up under it. So... To erase it, you're going to cover it up with black, okay? To hide it, you're going to use black. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more, okay? So you see how all that hard line is gone? So I'm going to click on it again and erase it just a little bit more. Like that. Like an ombre effect, like that. Alright, so that hard line is gone, y'all. And so now, um, I want to bring the yellow down some, just a little bit. I want to get rid of that line on the yellow as well, which I don't really have to, but let's hide that purple for just a moment. All you got to do is click the eyeball to turn it off. And I also want to click on this yellow layer, and I'm going to go all the way back down to the bottom and get another layer mask and then I'm going to get my paintbrush again and now I'm just going to hide this yellow just get rid of this line on the yellow it doesn't really matter because the purple was covering it up anyway but I'm going I'm to get rid of it so now that line is gone just move it across the screen and, and like barely touching it it will erase it you can make your paint paintbrush the size you want it but I chose the 2500 and I just turned that line back on and now to get rid of this paint this little circle just go back over here to the left top and hit the move tool and it'll go away and you can just kind of play with this and get it where you want it now we've done that so now I can start bringing in my people if I want, whatever you want to bring in. And so I'm just going to open up my Lakers folder again. And I'm going to drag LeBron in first, the purple one. And I'm just going to make him big. And again, I'm going to try to keep everything in this dotted line. You can bring it outside the line if you want, 
but it's a chance of it getting cut off. And I'm going to hit control T and I'm going to make them bigger. Just a little bit bigger. And again, we don't like hard lines, so what are we going to do? We going to go to this layer. You can name this, rename this layer LeBron because it just says remove BG right now. So I'm just going to put LeBron. There you go, LeBron. You got a name now. And you can also go down to the bottom, make a layer mask right here, and also go back to your brush. And this time, I'm going to make a smaller brush tool. And I'm going to make it smaller to about, uh, it go down real quick. So, <laughs> 0 to 100 real quick. And I'm just going to brush the bottom of LeBron right there because I don't like that hard line. And got rid of the bottom of him. And if you want to bring his hands back in, you can just switch this again from black to white like that. And you can hit the brush tool again and make it smaller. And you can just kind of feel his hands back in if you brush the way too much. Okay, just feel as much as you want back in if you think you erase too much. And then I'm going to bring in some of his friends, some of his teammates. All right, um, like I say, I forgot his name. Forgive me, I forgot his name. And I did not want to bring him in on top of LeBron. So what I'm going to do is, I should have paid attention to that, is I'm going to take him and I'm going to move him, drag him on down under LeBron. So now you see him behind LeBron, that's where he is right now. And I forgot the order they was in on the other shirt, but it doesn't matter. I'm just showing y'all how to make the design your own. And, okay, I'm bringing another one of his teammates in. And this time, I'm going to make sure that I'm behind him, okay? Um, so, which one I want to bring in next? Maybe Anthony Davis. Bring Anthony Davis in. Um, behind him. And you just drag these little um, squares to make it the size you want. Maybe I'll put Anthony Davis right there. I believe that's what I had him on the last shirt. And... Try to make sure I stay inside the dotted line. And you see his arm is hanging outside the dotted line. It's a chance it could get cut off. But it may not because I'm making an extra large shirt. So I can kind of, you know, play with it because I am making an extra large shirt. But if you're making a small and medium, you want to make sure you keep all of him inside of there. But since I can go all the way out here technically, um... Without a chance of it getting cut off. That's why I did that. Okay, so. Let's bring another one of his friends in. And. The next one is. Reese. I did not know that other man name. I don't know why, but. I think it's somebody. Hmm, I don't know. I should have named him. I should know it. Okay. Uh, I didn't bring him in right. But I'm going to move him up under LeBron. And that way he goes behind LeBron. I just drag him on down there. And I think I had one more. Who was my one more player? Um, I got Kobe, but I think I want to put Kobe on the shirt by himself. I might can add Kobe, like, to the sleeves or something. We'll see. Um, I 
Oh, this one. D'Angelo Russell. And I need to, I should have bought them in under LeBron, but I'm just going to move them around. Um, drag and make them bigger. So he already came in behind LeBron anyway. So he was already in the right spot. Okay, and like I say, I'm doing this on the extra large shirt. I'm designing it for an extra large shirt. So I'm not too worried about that basketball being cut off, but I am going to bring them in just a little bit. So I'm going to control T. And then I'm going to shift and drag that side in. Just a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to bring him in just a little bit. Like that. And bring LeBron up some. I can make AD a little smaller also. Because I'm going to make LeBron the focal point. Kind of put him in the front to make him kind of the big man in the front. And that's how I'm going to do that. And like I say, just kind of play around with it until you get it where you want it. And I can go click on Anthony Davis. I go to the bottom. Get a mask, go get my paintbrush over here, and I still got my white on. Again, white reveals, black conceals. So I have to turn my black on to erase these lines. All right, so that's it on him. And I'm going to do the same thing for him. Again, I don't know his name. I forgot it. Get my brush tool and erase these lines at the bottom. Because what we don't do, we don't like hard lines. And the brother, like I bought some hard lines back on you and I added the, uh, let's go back to LeBron and fix him again. Because I don't know what I was thinking. Because he got a hard line right here at the bottom. Alright, so we got him fixed. And now, oh, I'm going to get rid of his shoe because it's hanging out. And I don't want that shoe hanging out. Put a layer mask on D'Angelo Russell. Again, go to the bottom, hit layer mask. Go to your brush tool. And get rid of this shoe because we don't want that shoe hanging out. Got that done. And so now um, we're going to bring in the uh, the stadium in the background. So again, I want to put that on top of the purple. So I'm going to make sure I have clicked on my purple layer. I'm going to go to open up my Lakers folder again. And I'm going to drag uh, this stadium in so it appears that I did not get rid of this layer on this background so let me do that so what I did was I just went to Google right quick to save time and I just found the image again and I matched copy, and I'm just going to paste it. C Control V. I'm just going to paste it. And it went somewhere up in here <laughs> behind all of them because I pasted it in the land. Okay, there it is. So, I'm just going to make it as big as I want it. Right there. And 
I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. And this is probably not the same picture I chose. This one a little blurry, but this is how you bring it in. Just make sure you click on the layer that you want to bring it in on top of it, and you'll be fine. Because that one kind of looks blurry to me. But I'm going to make it, let me see. I'm just going to make it a, a little bit bigger. Hit the check mark at the top, or you can hit enter. And you want to create a layer mask on this one also. Um, I went to the bottom again, hit my layer mask. I'm going to go to my brush tool again. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to brush away. Just get rid of these edges and just get a little bit of that stadium in there. No. Just a little bit. I don't need those lights really. And just make sure you go around it. Really, I just need it to say staple center. That's the main part I'm really focused on staple center. Like I said, I don't know if this is the exact image that I chose, but it'll do for now. And so, I'm just going to match Control T to make it a little bit bigger behind them since I got the part I want. And I got some more. Let me go back to my brush tool and get rid of some more of that line. As I made it bigger, I can see more. And like I say, this ain't the, I don't think this is the exact picture I used because it's not, it look kind of blurry to me, so. Um, let me pause this for a minute and see can I find that picture. Okay, so Okay, so I found a better picture. Um again I don't even think this is the same one I have, but that's better. You can actually see the staple centers at the top. Staple center, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna make it big. I'm just gonna stretch it out. Like that, and then I'm just trying to put that in the back of them so you can kind of see the staple center name. And then I'm going to create a layer mask on this one. Go to my brush tool and brush away. Just brush away to what you think looks good to you. Brush away those little hard lines. Like that. All right. Got the staple center showing in the background. And just put it to about where you want it. You got a little bit showing down there. And I'm going to stretch it out um, to reach the end of this uh, extra large shirt line, which is the second one. But you can stretch it out as far as you want to stretch it out. But that's where I want it to go just to make sure it's going to cover my whole um, shirt. So that's where it is to the extra large uh, shirt side. Um, the staple center is not going to get cut off on any size, but some of these sides are, okay? So I want to make sure I get a little bit, little bit of that on my shirt. And I've got that done. So now I'm going to open up my Lakers file again. 
and I am going to bring in the Lakers um, name, logo name, and I'm just going to make sure that it covers the whole um, dotted line at the bottom. And hit the check mark. And then I'm just going to hit, I'm just going to uh, type in Los Angeles on my own at the top of this. So I'm just going to go to the text tool right here. I'm make sure, wait a minute, let me close it. Make sure I'm on top of LeBron, okay? So the text tool. And then. That little lower room, whatever that is, come up sometime. And I'm just going to type in Los Angeles. Right there. And I'm going to hit enter. Or sometimes you got to hit the check mark at the top. Sometimes it plays crazy with you. I did hit the check mark. What's going on? I hope it's not freezing up on me. Okay, it, it brought in two of them. I don't want two of them. I thought it was freezing up on me. Let me hit the save button before I lose my work. <laughs> um, I always hit save, 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 save your work because you will lose it. Okay, I got rid of that one. And then... I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Control T. Shift. And drag. Why is it looking like that? I don't know. And you just drag where you want it. And I'm going to double click on it because I don't want it to be black. I double clicked on Los Angeles. And I'm going to go to the top. I want it to be white. So my control panel opened up on the other screen, but I dragged it over here for y'all can see it. And I turned it white. And I'm going to click OK. Hit the check mark at the top. Or you can hit enter. Sometimes my enter does not work. And also, I'm going to click right here under the, under the layers tab right here on the word Los Angeles. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to click on stroke because I'm going to put like a yellow stroke around it. So I'm going to click on this purple because I'm automatically on purple already. So that's what's going to automatically open up. Because um, the last color I used was purple, I believe. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to click on a yellow. This little um, uh, medicine looking tool dropper is going to um, show up. And just go click. I'm just going to click on a yellow out of a jersey. And so you see how that turned the same color as a spot in his jersey? And so that's what I'm going to leave it as. And I'm going to put OK. Actually, I want to put like a black stroke around the yellow. So I'm going to, this stroke, the first stroke is yellow. So I'm going to go to the second stroke. And it's going to turn yellow but because it was already yellow because it's what I previously used before. But I'm going to click on the yellow. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and choose a black. That way my second stroke will be black like that I'm gonna hit OK and I want to make it just a little bit bigger the black stroke so I'm just gonna use this arrow make it just a little bit bigger and I'm gonna hit OK and it's got two strokes a white and a black stroke the last thing I did was I bought like the little L from the Lakers logo and just put them on the sleeve you can put whatever you want to on the sleeve um, you can put another picture. As a matter of fact, let's put Kobe on the sleeves just for giggles, okay? Let's put Kobe on the sleeves. Kobe, where are you? Okay, here's Kobe right here. I'm just going to drag Kobe in. And he's coming up to the Staples Center logo, though. I don't know if he's too big. But let's say you want to drag Kobe in. 
You can drag them in like that. You put one to Cody. Hey, Cody, hey. And I'm just going to go put a layer mask on Cody as well. And I'm just going to get my brush tool and kind of clean him up again a little so he don't have all those hard lines. Hey, Cody. We miss you. Hey, Cody. We miss you so much for real. And I'm just going to put them right there. Just to show y'all what you can put. And then I'm bringing the L in. The logo. Hey, Kobe. The logo. Right here. This L right there. And I'm just going to put it right here on the sleeve. And actually, I'm just going to turn the opacity down on Kobe. Just a little, you know, not be so... Um, vibrant. If you go to opacity right here, where I'm circling it, and I'm just gonna bring this opacity some down. And he just looked like he just up here, like, hey y'all, I'm hiding out. I'm hiding out on the sleeve. Y'all, y'all see me? So I just bought him down just a little bit, because I'm gonna make another shirt with Kobe on it. And then the L for the Lakers. I'm going to bring that opacity down too. Just to like make it lighter and not so vibrant. And it's just there. You can see the little imprint of it. And y'all, so basically we done. If you want to add a little splatter to it, the background, you can do that. Add some little paint. Get your paintbrush and like, let me see. Can I do that real quick? This video already so long, but... Let's go to the, um, let's say we go to the, the purple layer, and then we're going to get our paintbrush, brush to, actually we're going to go to the purple layer and go to this plus right here and add a layer on top of it. So now I added another layer, and you can go get your little paintbrush over here, and you can go, maybe, um, let me see what I, this, that's what I use, maybe. That right there. And you just say, you can, it's all different kind of um, paint brush strokes you can use. But I'm just using this for an example. Let's say I click right there. You see those, those little white marks? You can just put you some little accent to it. But this is not the brush I would actually use. But I'm just showing y'all. Just to make it more decorative. Okay. But I'm going to get rid of all that. See, look at that. It don't look too bad, but that's not the kind of brush I would use. So, control Z. All that out the way. Because I ain't going to do that on this video. I will do it on another one. Alright, so that's pretty much what we have. That's the design that I'm going to show today. And then, what I'm going to do is to print this, I would turn this off. Right there. Turn it off. And you will print this whole um, sheet out. And when you lay your shirt on here, it's only going, it's not, it's, this print is going to be way bigger than your shirt. To give you, to make you be able to cover the whole entire shirt with your uh, design. So when you cut this out, you're going to lay your shirt on here. And you're just going to trim all the area that your shirt does not cover. You're going to trim it away, cut it away, and tape it down. And then you're going to, um press your shirt or cut out your design, um, piece it together, whatever you're going to do. But I have a 44 inch printer. So all I do is print this out, lay my shirt down and trim around the pieces that I do not need. And so y'all, that's how I design my shirt. That's an easy way to design a shirt, create a Fabrica in Photoshop, bring your images in, um, with the background removed through remove photo I can't talk remove bg.com and you can design something simple just like this okay so we're not going to actually be printing out this um design today and we're not going to be pressing it but I do have several videos with me actually printing out the design cutting around it and actually pressing it I have so many videos like that you guys and I will link them below in um, the description. I have a whole playlist of sublimation. Um, so go play that playlist and you'll see um, 
shirt designs just like this and you'll see me actually print out and pressing the design okay so um i know i know you ain't ready to leave my house but as always you're always welcome back and i want to leave you with this keep showing up keep showing up don't let nobody stop you keep showing up if you if you quit you're not going to win. But if you stay the course, we all will win. God did it for them, and he'll do it for you too. Keep the faith, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.